Today, modular inverse, made easy. Here's a typical exam question. Or you may see it in this form. Now, the, this is too big for trial and error, so let's do it this way. Step one, find the GCD of 3000 and of 197. Okay, to do that, we're gonna use a Euclid's algorithm. So we set the problem out like this. The first line we just write out what would result if we were trying to divide 3000 by 197. So we've got here the remainder of 45. And one of the beautiful things about Euclid's algorithm is that you can show that the GCD of 3000 and of 197 is exactly the same as the GCD of 197 and 45. And the other beautiful thing about Euclid's algorithm is that we can repeat the process. So here I'm working out the remainder when I divide 197 by 45, and I get a remainder of 17. So now I know that the GCD of 3000 and of 197 is the same as the GCD of 45 and 17, which is the same as the GCD of 17 and 11, the GCD of 11 and 6, the GCD of 6 and 5, and the GCD of 5 and 1 and the GCD of 5 and 1 is 1. So the GCD of 3000 and of 197 is the number 1. Now if you don't get 1 as the GCD, then there will be no inverse. But in this case we've got 1, so we can move over to step 2, which is to express 1 as the difference between multiples of 3000 and of 197. So to do that, we use what we've just done. We start down the bottom here and we can express one as the difference between multiples of six and five. That's just the last line uh, changed around slightly. And now we wanna get rid of the five. And to do that, we look at this line here, which gives us five in terms of multiples of 11 and six. We substitute that into this and we get that. Now we wanna get rid of the six. For that, we look at this line here we substitute this line into this line, and we get this line. And we just continue this process until we get right down the bottom here, where we have 1 equals 533 times 197 minus 35 times 3000. Now we're ready for the final step, step 3. Apply modulo 3000 to both sides. So here's our equation. So modulo 1 on the left hand side is just 1. I'm going to leave this bit here for a, for a little while and when we look at this expression here we see that it's got 3000 in it and 3000 mod 3000 is just 0. So this whole expression here is just equal to 0 and we're just left with this that 1 is equivalent to 533 times 197 mod 3000. So that means that if we take 197 and we multiply it by 533, we just get 1 in this modulo 3000 world. And that's precisely what we were asked to solve, to work out the inverse of 197. So here's a way of expressing the answer to the exam question in this form or in this form. But in either case, you should get a green tick because uh, hopefully you'll get full marks. That's it for modular inverse made easy. I hope you found it useful.